Good. We have recording. Excellent. Excellent. Uh, Toastmasters International. We are one country and one world. Are we not? I have the honor to be president of One Country, One World Club, a club which was founded around the value uh, and experience of One Country, One World, specially founded in order to give everyone who comes to our meetings an opportunity to listen to and see features of other countries in the world and a club in which we quite consciously promote the value of inclusion, diversity, and equality. In other words, we welcome all individuals of all dispositions, all localities, and all countries, and celebrate them. Just as I experienced when I went to the International Convention in August in Anaheim. You just wouldn't believe how many different countries there were. There were countries there that I'd never heard of. There were obviously hundreds and hundreds of people I had never met before, even on Zoom. Some of you might think I know everybody in the world on Zoom. That is far from the truth. The whole experience was life affirming as i'm sure you all have experienced when you have gone to meetings in other places so today a very special celebration to you all. a very special celebration to toastmasters international and it's going to be the most unusual meeting perhaps that you've ever been to. I have, well, I'm now hand over to our Toastmaster for this meeting, Paul Omani. Thank you, Paul. You might like to welcome him. He uh, He's here to do his best as Toastmaster. And before doing anything as your MC for the meeting, I'm going to ask each one of you, including the members of this club who are here, to do a short introduction of yourself. Now look, as you can see, if you talk for two minutes each, we'll be way down the agenda. So please say where you're sitting today, your country, and say one thing about yourself that you would like us to know. And let me start with my great friend, Sonia Monrose, all the way from the Caribbean, Sonia. And after that, I'm going to ask Tamara, Sonia. Good morning, Paul, thank you. Good morning, fellow Toastmasters. It's a pleasure to be here. I'm from the island of St. Lucia, down in the Caribbean, Eastern Caribbean. I am, I can say, Paul, that I'm a member of One Country, One World because I'll be renewing my membership again very soon. And thanks to Paul, I am here again today because he sent me this message yesterday, cracking me up, inviting me to attend the meeting. So here I am, and I'm sure I'm going to love it. Over to you, Paul, thank you. Oh, fabulous. Applause, please, is our tradition in this club. We do uh, we do our best. Now, Tamara, and I'm going to go to Stephen after Tamara. Tamara, please, unmute. And Stephen, you might as well unmute at the same time. I am originally from Ukraine. <clears throat> now I live in New Mexico, in America. <clears throat> um, I haven't been a, a Toastmaster for a long time, just a little bit over a year, but I really enjoy uh, the opportunity to meet different people, wonderful people, and I'm looking forward with excitement to today's meeting to be imprinted in my heart and mind 
forever. Thank you. Fabulous, Tamara. Fabulous. Stephen, would you mind going next? And after you, Matty, would you mind going next after Stephen? Uh, good morning, all, or good afternoon, uh, wherever you are. Uh, so my name is O. Stephen Peart. I am originally from Jamaica, however, uh, Canada, um, the Ontario area close to Ottawa, if you're familiar with Canada. And yeah, this is my first time visiting Ireland um, or one one world uh, country Toastmasters. I've been a Toastmaster for about five years, currently working on my DTM. I am a published author and um, I'm actually looking forward to being here. Um, it's, my, it's a pleasure meeting you in person, Paul. And I'm uh, looking forward to also meeting the rest of the, the members. Uh, thank you. Wow. And thank you ever so much for being the uh, scheduled five to seven minute speaker here today, Stephen. And please put the link to your published work in the chat. Really important including any of you authors, please do the same. Matty Bean from Ireland, and then Margaret Bishton. Matty, please. Hello to you all Toastmasters. This is my first time joining yours, and that is thanks to Paul. <laughs> yes, I come from Ireland, not far from where Paul lives, just a couple of counties that were separate us. I'm delighted to be here. Hope to get to know you all. Uh, I also have two small books of poetry published. What I'd like you all to know is that you are all welcome to Ireland. And Ireland is the land of 100,000 welcomes. So do come and join us and enjoy the atmosphere and the countryside. Thank you. Back to you, Paul. Oh, Matty, that's fabulous. The Irish Tourist Board will be thrilled to see this video. Thank you, Matty. Well done. Margaret Bishton from the United Kingdom. And after that, Jorge next. Madam, most welcome guests, Mr. Toastmaster, I am from Hampshire in uh, the south of England in a little place called Havant, near the sea. I am now retired. I've been retired for over five years. And this year I celebrated my 70th birthday. Isn't that amazing? When I was 15, I thought I was never going to reach 60. And now I've reached 70. And I'm retired. I thought, I'm never going to be here to retire. And now I've retired. I'm enjoying life with my little dog, Jack. And also, I am a member of uh, Shilling Speakers. Madam, Mr. Toastmaster, oh, over Margaret, to you. You're terribly welcome, Margaret. Shilling Speakers, by the way, is in, the, is in District uh, 91, for those of you who are trying your best to learn the districts of the entire world. Let me now introduce uh, Zilva, uh, sorry, Jorge, and following that by Zilva. And thank you for uh, highlighting people, Zilva. Good morning, good evening, and good night, I guess. Before I introduce myself, I just went to for a few seconds, remember that Paul O'Mahony's birthday was yesterday, so happy birthday, I guess. Now, to introduce myself, I am from Mexico. Uh, I live in, an, in the northern part in a city called Monterey. It's very close to America, to Texas. So there's a lot of influence, and that's why I guess I know. Sorry, we can't English. hear you well, Jorge. Sorry. You cannot hear me well? How about now? Is it better? That's better. Okay, sorry about that. 
So I was saying that I'm from a northern part of Mexico, a city called Monterrey. I'm very close to Texas. So I guess that's why I get to speak English. I also speak Spanish because of the country. And what do I, one thing about me is that I love traveling. I love traveling to many cities, to other places, to other countries, physically, and I'm going to invent a new word, zoomingly. So that's why I'm here. I hope I, I get to talk more during this meeting. Let's see. And back to you, Paul. Thank you for the invitation. Jorge, thank you very, very much. Now, the chat is open throughout the meeting. That means that you can offer a sofa to Jorge during the meeting. I am offering a sofa to Jorge in Ireland, just for the record. Now, let me now invite all the way from Indonesia, Zilva Boas, Zilva. And after Zilva, I would like it to be, says he desperately looking for the gallery view. I would like it to be uh, Rauda after, after Zilva. Thank you so much, our Mr. President. And for your information, Paul actually had his birthday yesterday. So happy belated birthday to Paul as well. And happy birthday to Margaret. All the very best for you too. I'm Zilva from Indonesia. Right now in Indonesia, it's 7 16 p.m. So it's already in the evening. I already had my dinner and I'm wearing my pajamas. After this meeting, I'm going to sleep to start my work tomorrow. So I'm very happy to be part of One Country, One Word. I was also the chartered member and the immediate past club president. And yeah, I'm looking forward to meet everyone here because I see so many beautiful new faces and looking forward to listening to your speech and learning from you. Thank you so very much, Paul. I believe it's now turn for Rauda from UK, Scotland. Over to you, Rauda. Hi, good evening to you, uh, Zika and Dirka, and uh, good afternoon to everyone and good morning who's just started their morning. Um, Paul, um, the best thing about me is I celebrate people. I celebrate their success. I celebrate their progress. I celebrate their lives, I celebrate their birthday. And a part of that, I'm gonna sing to you and to Margaret, happy birthday in Arabic. How about that? Sana helwa ya gamil. Sana helwa ya gamil. Sana helwa. To Paul and Margreta, Sana Helwa Yegemi. My goodness. I invite everybody to do the same in their language when it is your turn to speak during the meeting. I just have to say that one country, one world means song doesn't it indeed right now uh, i'd like to invite delon fraser delon if you're able to speak would love you to speak and after you valentine please okay the first one to unmute of uh, from guyana delon and uh, uh, from Paul, South Africa. Would you give me a minute to talk about myself? <laughs> uh, just one minute. I didn't understand that. Can you say again? No, because I didn't say anything about myself. <laughs> oh, sorry. Yeah, very yes, yes, yes. Of course. Yes. <laughs> that's that's fine. So oh, I thought goodness. I thought first things first. First, the celebration, and then the intro. 
Yes, yeah, so so to everyone, uh, originally I'm from Syria. I left Syria back in 1999. I lived in Dubai for 20 years. I'm an IT consultant by profession, but I have a heart of serving. I have a charity. And what I really do in life, I help people to grow in business, in life. And I'm a certified coach from John Maxwell, from Jack Canfield, and I help businesses to grow, SMBs to grow. Currently, I'm still in my day-to-day -day job till the end of the year, but I'm starting Neospace, which is Neospace Leadership be Global, where I help people to grow in their profession and in, in their life. That's about me. Thank you. Rauda, thank you so, so much. I think you may be the first person from Syria the, that uh, has been to one country, one world. So a special welcome. Special Thank welcome. you. My privilege. And Thank you. My honor. Thank you. Thank you, Paul. Thank you for the invitation. Now I'd like to invite uh, Valentine from South Africa. And after that, um, Rosemary Sweeney. Uh, after that, yeah. Valentine, welcome. Uh, greetings, fellow Toastmasters. My name is Valentine Muradzika, and I'm joining you from Johannesburg, South Africa, on a hot, blazing summer afternoon. It's always a pleasure to visit one country, one world. One unique thing about me is I'm passionate about leadership. I breathe, live, sleep leadership, and that's why I have become a professional visitor to this specific club. Thank you. Back to you, Paul. It's fabulous. You know, it's fabulous. And, you know, we still do, if you can help us at any stage, we still don't have a representative of South Africa as a member in the club. And we're very keen to uh, welcome individuals who will represent their country. Now, let me uh, invite Rosemary Sweeney. And after Rosemary, I'd like to invite Marciano. And the idea is to very briefly to, uh, say where you are today and tell us one thing about yourself that uh, you'd like to, us to know. Rosemary Sweeney. Thank you, Mr. Toastmaster, and happy birthday to the two birthday people. I am Rosemary Sweeney from the Commonwealth of Dominica. Dominica is a tiny island in the Caribbean. They're pretty close to where Sonia lives in St. Lucia. And you will see me with this headpiece because we are in the independent season and we are a vibrant nation. In Dominica, we boast of having the most active volcanoes in the world. We sit on nine volcanoes and we are the first in the Caribbean area to have the largest boiling lake in the world where you can literally cook an egg in 10 minutes. You put it in that river that flow in water and it will cook in 10 minutes. I am a financial coach by profession. I help people get out and get over that overwhelming feeling of being in debt. Back to you, Mr. Toastmaster of the meeting. And Rosemary, thank you very much for bringing a chicken to the meeting. It really is a treat. Some people bring cats, Sometimes people have brought dogs, but it's just fabulous, isn't it, to have a chicken with us today. Thank you, Rosemary. Thank you, Rosemary. Um, just to say to Delon, if you are actually able to speak, just unmute and I will notice you. Marciano, welcome. Great to see you again. And after Thank you, me. I'll invite Gita. <laughs> Thank you, Paul. So, okay, so um, hi everyone, and um, I heard there are some birthday, um, to, so some of some of us among us who have the birthdays today, so um, happy birthday to you. My name is Marcelo Lia Young, I am um, from Suriname, uh, I'm not that often on a meeting um, the la last year, I think. Um, as I mentioned, I am from Suriname, uh, country in South America, where um, where where we have uh, something that I always like to say is a um, small country, just half a million people, with where we speak sixteen languages. 
So it's a, a, a culture that's very diverse in, 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 in very ways, mm -hmm. uh, in many ways. So, and, and one of the ways that I like the most is uh, the culinary way. So that is my country, Suriname, and that is me, Marcia. Marciana, it's always fabulous when members of the club, past members of the club, come back. Fantastic. Thank <laughs> you so very, very much. Thank you. Uh, Gita, are you uh, from the UK? Will you be next? And after that, Sarinka Janga, please. Hi, everybody. Uh, so I'm Gita, and I'm from Southampton in the, in the UK. Um, and I've been a member of Toastmasters for two to three years. Uh, I've really enjoyed it. And uh, it's, it's so lovely to have friends across the world. And uh, yeah, it just enriches my life. Thank you. Oh, fabulous. Thank you. You speak for all of us, I think, there, uh, Gita. So now, from Bonaire, Sarinka Janga, please welcome. And after that, um, Delon will be able to speak, I think, but if not, Honora. Sarinka, the floor is yours. Thank you, Toastmaster Paul. I am from the island in the Caribbean called Bonaire, part of the Dutch Kingdom. Currently, I am in UK, Scotland, to be more precisely. And it's my pleasure to be here. Back to you, Toastmaster Paul. Oh, wonderful. Now, Sarinka didn't mention how extraordinarily helpful she is to people around the world, especially in uh, District 71, District 91, and District 81, because she is the greatest collaborator I've ever met when it comes to doing all of the background stuff that you need to move people from, you know, Jamaica to Ireland and from... Guyana to St. Lucia, all of those uh, things you have to do in breakout rooms. Anyway, Serinka, great to have you here. Delon, are you ready to speak or if you're still moving in the car? Great. I am ready, Paul. I am ready. Good morning, everyone. And it feels so good to be back to One Country, One World. It has been a minute. And I, of course, thank you, Paul, for inviting me back to the club. I um, would want to take this opportunity to wish you and the other two master a wonderful and, of course, happy birthday. Um, I am Delon Fraser, and I am from Guyana, the land of many giants, rich and diverse culture. And, of course, we have the opportunity of enjoying both the Caribbean life and being part of South, of, South America. One exciting thing about me, or, or one of the most fantastic thing about me, is that I like being happy. So I'm happy to be here, and I do look forward to a wonderful meeting. Back to you, Paul. Well, you've made me happy to see you and hear you again. Fantastic. Some of you may not know, I'm just looking at all the different countries. Some of you may not know that when this club was first founded, there was a, or before it was founded, there was a gigantic meeting at which there were representatives of 78 different countries, of whom wow. 42 people said they would like to form a club, and 32 people from 28 countries, I'm going out of my memory, I uh, formed this club. And uh, anyway, it was, it was amazing. So that's what we're aiming to build back to that number with people from that number of countries. Now, I want to invite my great friend all the way from West Africa, Honora, are you able to speak from... Uh, Bokino Fasa, Honora. Thank you very much, Paul. Good day, everyone. I am Honora. I am working in Senegal. And my country is Bokino Faso. 
It's my pleasure to be with you today to make this celebration with one country, one world. Thank you for having me and wish all of you a great meeting. Back to you, Paul. You're all great. You're all great, especially if you come from West Africa. You're just fantastic. Brilliant. As I say, I'm the master of ceremonies. I don't think I've forgotten anybody, but uh, when, if and when other people arrive, very soon after they arrive, I'm going to get them to introduce themselves rather than leave uh, you in suspense, wondering who on earth is this newcomer? So there. Now, let me go through the agenda to tell you, because it's very unusual. We're going to have one prepared speaker. Well, there are other people who are prepared, but we're going to have one prepared speaker, and that is Stephen Peart, who I will introduce or I will be his uh, evaluator. Although I'm looking for an evaluator because I'm doing too much. So don't all put up your hands at the same time. But who'd like to practice evaluating Stephen's speech? This is a thing you shouldn't do in Toastmasters. You should never ask a full room because everybody is too modest to grab the uh, thing. So uh, I, you're going to leave me with the job, which, of course, as you all know, I love doing jobs. So we'll come back to that in a second. Let me run through the agenda. We have a prepared speech. We have people on the agenda uh, who, who are down to speak, give a short speech in celebration of Toastmasters and in celebration of themselves or what you have learned, what you have learned from uh, in your time or what Toastmasters means to you. So we have a whole lot of speakers here and some who haven't yet arrived. But we also have two other important things. We have about six video uh, celebrations to play at the meeting, provided we have the technical expertise and uh, the person knows who's going to do it. And I'd love a thumbs up or a thumbs down from them to know whether it's going to be easy to do because I'm not the world's greatest player of videos. But here we go. And then we will have table topics. And table topics is going to be uh, run so that everybody gets a chance to speak at the meeting, not just the people who are on the current agenda. Now, before we start, and I go to Stephen, put your hand up if you'd like to ask a question, any clarification. Actually, before I go to Stephen, I'm going to ask Lynn Gilbert to introduce herself. Lynn, all the way from the United States. Would you just say where you are today and tell us one thing about yourself that people are unlikely to know? Lynn, uh, I'll give you the floor. Thank you. And it's a pleasure to be here with all of you. I'm from New York. I'm in my office right now. And I'm happy to share what I feel about Toastmaster. I'm lately, I'm 86. And what I realize of all the groups that I've been part of, this is the most exciting group that I am enabled to have at this time of my life. I've been in a reading group for 35 years, an opera group, a finance group, a bridge group, uh, I can't even begin to travel group. This one fulfills a need that I feel touches humanity. We all want to communicate. It's a communication, whether it's for ourselves personally 
or for the work we do, but it touches all aspects of our life. And this is a group that is like-minded. We're all from different places. We all have different backgrounds. So we learn from each other. And what makes this special is that we are in it to have connections with other people and to do it in a way that's beneficial both for ourselves and for the people that we're with. Now, what I found is that by learning to speak, I've learned, and it took me six months to not say, um, and, and it's a, I, I see you all laugh. <laughs> it's very difficult to do. And I learned it and it's a great benefit. It also taught me to slow down because um is like a bookmark. And rather than have a bookmark, I say to myself, nobody's going to interrupt me. Stay what I have to say and don't use the um. So here's what happens in learning how to speak. First of all, there are 144,000 people in Toastmaster. That means, and there are lots of people who have no idea what this is, and it's too bad they should learn about it because you learn one, how to speak. You learn how to structure your ideas. You learn about voice control, about nuance, and you learn body language. And it's what's unique about this is that it's everybody is supportive of each other. It's not critical and you feel safe and you come to it with an open heart and an open mind. And what I've learned is I keep learning every time I am part of the group because I learn about different backgrounds, about different ways of life, and it, it helps me improve myself. And I am thrilled at 86 that I'm in this group and that I can keep continuing to learn. <laughs> I feel the same way about all of you. <laughs> and I hope you forgive me because I'm working on something that I have to get done. So I have to leave you all. I would love to hear this and maybe I can get <clears throat> a tape of it, but I'm focused on something <clears throat> that I'm doing right now. So all the best to all of you. You're mute, Paul. Oh, and for somebody who joined Toastmasters one year ago, isn't that fantastic? Isn't that really brilliant? There we are. When I went to the, this is before I come to you, Stephen. When I went to Anaheim, one of the things I want to celebrate was that we were all invited to wear our national dress. So I wore my national dress. We haven't specialized in one country, one world in dress yet. But in addition to song, I'm going to bring dress into the, into the situation. So I'm going to show you my national dress. And this is what I was pleased to wear in Anaheim. I hope I'm being highlighted or whatever it is, because I'm delighted to share this little example of something that binds the whole of Ireland together. And uh, we'll play um, our country and our junior teams and everything will play rugby in your country. All you have to do is invite us. So there, you can put your invitation in the chat and we'll make sure, Matty and I, that some Irish rugby team will travel to your country in order to play. Okay, we now come to our prepared speech and our prepared speech today from uh, Stephen Peart is a very special type of speech because 
Stephen is practicing a speech that he's going to give in other places. And at the end of his speech, I'm going to give a minute of time and uh, Zilva is going to be our timer, a minute of time. Zilva, will you give him the green, the yellow and the uh, red light at the usual times, uh, five, six and seven? But uh, it, so this speech should have a good beginning, a good middle and a good end. And Stephen, um, I'm going to evaluate it later on. And I now uh, call on uh, Stephen Peart to give his speech. Everyone has a story. Why not write it? Stephen, unmute, and the stage is yours. It was Saturday morning. I was about to head off to an event. Just about five blocks from where I lived. So I grabbed my bike, headed through the door, and got to the gate. In that moment, I paused. You see, I like to ride my bike. And on top of that, safety is essential. Hence, I always encourage riders to wear a helmet. But for some reason, I had forgotten to grab my helmet. I turned back, went inside, and grabbed my helmet. Off I was along the road. Now you see where I lived was an elevated point to my destination. So all I had to do was to glide down the hill. And gliding I was with the breeze blowing through my hair. Well, my hair, yes, at that time. <laughs> and feeling the warmth around me. As I glided along the road, I came to a point where just before I looked, the car turned right in front of me and I went over the car. So I was nine years old and I thought to myself, I wanted to be a writer. I wanted to be a songwriter, to be precise. And so I started with a pen and paper to write my story, to write a song. Sitting at my desk, I was like, yes. I started to write one word. Nothing else came. Then. There goes the paper. I tried again, I grabbed another piece of paper and I started to write. There goes another piece of paper. Paper after paper, I became a professional waste basket player. And then my father stepped in with despair in his eyes, he looked at me, he looked at the waste paper basket. Your story isn't about just you. My story isn't just about me, it is about you. You see, everyone here today has a story, a narrative of triumphs, obstacles, love, loss, and discovery. 
your story is unique, filled with moments that shaped who you are. Now, have you ever taken the time to reflect on your journey? To consider the chapters that you have in those very moments. Life has altering experiences. Then there are significant milestones of both birthdays. And then there is realizing your passion. Now, those three things are simple examples of what your story could look like. So I want you to pause and think about it just for a moment. What is your story? Is it one of perseverance? Or maybe it's a tale of innovation, compassion, or adventure. Your story is powerful and deserves to be told. Fellow Toastmasters, Mr. Toastmaster, most welcome guests, I like to tell stories. And you must be wondering what happened in that story. So my helmet saved my life. You see, after I hit that car that came right in front of me and I flipped over into the, I landed on my head and skidded for just about the length of a 10 yard football field. After I broke my fall and landed on my side, I turned and looked and saw the car staring in my face. And then behind me were the paramedics, thank God, and that saved my life that day. And then you must be wondering, Whatever happened to those papers? Well, the papers went into the garbage, but my dad came and gave me the advice of a lifetime. And that changed the trajectory of my life. Where today I'm now published with my own book and able to share my story. Now reflect on your story and where it intersects with your life. Or your challenge for today, my challenge for today. Why not write your story? Whether it's through journaling, blogging, podcasting, or simply sharing with a friend. Your story matters. It has the power to inspire, to heal, and to connect. Let's embrace our stories and share them with the world. Back to you, Mr. Toastmaster. Wow. Well, I don't mind saying that I I don't mind saying I wasn't prepared for that. Nobody told me you were that good. Fantastic. Wonderful. Let me now. Um, I've noticed a newcomer. I've noticed that a terribly good friend of mine has snuck in the back door in the middle of the speech. And I'm going to invite Nick Lacani from the UK. Oh, what stunning timing. Excuse me for uh, drawing that to your attention in the chat. Uh, this man is some kind of a genius. Anyway, back to the, back to the point. Um, Nick Lacani um, from the UK. Nick, would you please just tell everybody, everyone has done this, already um 
where you are today and one thing about yourself that you'd like everybody from all these different countries to know about you. Thanks very much, Paul. Thanks for the invite. Um, hello, happy Sunday to everybody out there. I'm in the UK. I live in Altrincham, which is literally a stone's throw from the airport. Okay, we have an international airport. And well, one thing that I want you to know, I love having fun and I have even more fun when other people have fun too. That's it. Very simple, straightforward. Back to you, Paul. Oh, little did you know, Nick, that somebody else in this meeting also likes having fun. I have a job to remember who it was, but one of the others said, the thing I want you to know about myself is that I love enjoying myself or having fun or something like that. So there we are. Thank you very much. You're terribly welcome. Now, my friends, the next part of the meeting are opportunities for those of you who I have on the agenda in the first place to uh, celebrate and to speak in celebration of Toastmasters International and uh, also um, to speak in celebration of what Toastmasters means to you in any style you like. You can be humorous, you can be sarcastic, you can be bombastic, you can be, anyway, I couldn't think of another word. So basically, it's over to you. I have an order here. And the first person I have here to give a short speech. Uh, we won't worry about, uh, oh, fabulous, Yosef has arrived. I don't know how he got here because I didn't send him the... Uh, the changed, uh, the changed. Um, I sent him. And just, oh, Zilvi, you're wonderful. Just while uh, Sarinka is getting ready to speak, I'm going to ask Yosef. Yosef, you're so, so welcome. Would you mind telling everybody, because everybody is very nosy and curious here, um, where you are today, and one thing about yourself that you would like us all to know. Yosef, over to you, please. Hi, Yusuf. Hello. Can you hear me? All right. I, I just get in. Sorry, I just come. It's okay. Would you like to please tell us where you are today, the location, and secondly, tell us one thing about yourself that you'd like us to know. Oh, thank you very much. Oh, uh, today I've just been from my own church. I've got a task to do there to accompany the, the, the people because we are having a bazaar in our our in our church and that's what I have just done today. Um, I would like to tell you what I like. I like uh, becoming a public speaker. I like to help the students to be able to speak in front of public and especially because my students are going to work in a hotel business and they have got to face the customers. They have to be able to handle the complaint and they have to be able to answer politely and facing the, 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 the guests coming to the hotel. So I'm trying hard to put into their minds about being self-confident in speaking to the guests. Thank you. Is that all? That is all. That's more than all. That's fabulous. Thank you. Goodness, you're doing what Ralph C. Smedley wanted to be done. In other words, to help young people to be able to make their mark in the world. 
and thereby improve their life chances. Fabulous. You are actually got a name on your screen, which is fascinating. Oh. I won't ask you what it stands for, but you're obviously a man with two identities. No problem at all. So there we are. So first of all, now, Sarinka, I invite you to celebrate. Thank you, Toastmaster Paul. Fellow Toastmasters, most distinguished guests, celebration. Celebration is a thing we can do on a daily basis. Celebrate our minor victories, milestones achieved, birthdays, weddings. Anyway, life is all about celebration. Those masters are celebrating a hundred years on the 22nd of October. One smart guy, Ralph Smeltney, decided to start this organization. And we are celebrating personal development. When I was first introduced to Toastmaster, I wondered why on earth people choose to put themselves through a lot of misery to prepare speeches and then to present them in front of a, a group of other people and then to be evaluated, oh Lord. If I think about it, I thought that is a torture that I am not going to choose for. And that was 1995. I was a student and in my university, they have till today a Toastmasters Club, the University of the Netherlands Antilles back in the Caribbean. Fast forward like five years later, or no, perhaps even 10 years later in my job, my manager advised me to join the Toastmaster Corporate Club. And I thought, why is this Toastmaster team keep hunting me? And eventually I joined to get rid of colleagues keeping asking me every week to join that club. And it has been a roller coaster of personal development. One thing to celebrate. By joining Toastmaster, I become part of a social gathering. Wherever you go around this world, it is a social gathering. Each culture does it different. I am a member of those mass in the Caribbean. It's all about parties and having social gathering with lots of music on the online platforms. In UK, where I'm also a member, it's more relaxed more business-wise. I worked for a year in Cyprus, where I was also a member, that's back in 2012, I think, where I was also a member of Toastmaster. Now, there they took the social gathering seriously. The Toastmaster was on a Friday with a dinner meeting. Now, it can become better than that. So second thing to celebrate social gathering and Toastmaster, and you will be having friends for life. Now, while we are developing ourselves, we are gathering in a friendly environment and learning, we are accomplishing goals. We are reaching new milestones. When I joined, it was about competent communicator to take 10 speeches, then you do 10 other speeches and you want to become advanced communicator bronze. And then you do another 10 speeches, you become advanced communicator silver. And another 10 speeches and you are 
content communicator goes, and me, I have done a whole host of speeches on the educational track and on the leadership track to reach distinguished Toastmaster. Things have changed, like also our mobile phones are changing like crazy. Things have changed in Toastmasters as well. And manuals have been banned, banned but taken away. And Toastmaster also jumped into the modern era. So now we have pathways. So it's all online. It's not experiencing an outage. It's down. They're bringing a new system in. I hope from the bottom of my heart that this new system on the palm of our hands is more user-friendly, more accessible, and easier to use compared to the the one they had until the end of September. Fellow Toastmaster, I do a toast to personal development, to social gathering, and to many more accomplishments in this Toastmaster journey. Happy 100th year celebration. Back to you, Toastmaster Paul. Oh, Srinka, wonderful, wonderful. Now I'm gonna give everybody one minute. I'd like the timer to put up the red light in a minute. Please give uh, Srinka a bit of celebration. Yeah, give her celebration. You don't have to tell her how to improve the speech. You just give her a bit of positive celebration. And I'm Gonna ask Marciano if he's ready to go next. Excellent, hey, Marciano. Yes. <clears throat> Thank you, Toastmaster. Wait a minute. Yeah. Wait a minute. If you're ready, I'll tell you when to go. Ready. I'm ready. Yeah, we're just giving uh, Sarinka a bit of uh, positivity, a bit of celebration. We'll be doing that for you as well. Yeah. After you, you've uh, spoken. Yes. So we'll give you the signal. As soon as the red light comes on, you're on. Okay. Do I see the red light? Ah, uh, right. It's on the top left-hand corner of the screen. It will be there. Aha, there it is. The timer has uh, indicated that that's uh, one minute. Now, please put your hands together and welcome Marciano to celebrate. Marciano. Thank you, Toastmaster, fellow, fellow Toastmasters. Sarinka, I want to thank you for your, for your speech. And I really like the way you... You, joined, you shared all the, the experience you had uh, in the different Toastmasters Club, uh, which shows the diversity, the, the, the things you can learn, the brotherhood, and that was very beautiful. So thank you very much for that. Ah, Marciano, please celebrate Toastmasters International, not just the previous speaker, Celebrate Toastmasters International, please. And of course, <laughs> thank you. And and of course, with 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 those with, with that story you 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 the story you shared, <clears throat> which shows how Toastmasters International can add to the way we learn about people, the learn the way we learn about culture, the learn the way we learn about others. Oh, um, you know how it brings us together, and that's for me one of the be very beautiful things of this organization. Fabulous, wonderful. Now, one minute to give Marciano a bit of celebration. Yeah, <laughs> encouragement, lift his morale, and speak about him as a hero for having come here today and publicly celebrate the organization 
And the uh, next person, if he's ready to go, is Honora. Honora, if you're ready to go, uh, please put on your screen. Thank Great. you very much, Paul. Wait till you see I the red light. I'll tell you when to go. And after that, it'll be Tamara. Thank you very much. Is it ready? Can I go? Yes, yes it certainly is. Okay. okay, thank you for listening to me. I am in my embassy of Burkina Faso in Dakar, Senegal, and I am wearing national clothes of Guinea. I took this dress in Conakry 2022 during our regional conference and it is made in Burkina Faso Ouagadougou with my tailor this year during my holiday. I am in the embassy background in the parking to celebrate our country because we are struggling with terrorism in the Sahel, Burkina Faso, Mali, Niger. And about us, Master, I can say every year since 2016 in Washington, D.C., I celebrate Toastmaster Convention. 2017 in Vancouver, in Chicago, 2018, 2019 in Denver, and last year in Nassau, in the Bahamas. And I cannot lose, miss, the Centennial in Los Angeles. I was there with my friend, Paul. The first time we meet in person with others, members of Firebirds Collective, because I am VP of this club for this mandate. So, for your intention, I celebrate Toastmaster every year, and I can wait to be in Philadelphia next year for the 101 Convention of Toastmaster International. Back to you. That's master of the day, and thank you for your invitation to celebrate First Master today. Happy Sunday, everyone. Right, that brilliant. And Honora, there's a wonderful Irish playwright who's written a, a play called Philadelphia, Here I Come. Very, very famous play by the greatest, uh, well, he died recently, but one of the greatest Irish playwrights. Now, one minute, please. Uh, actually, let's do 45 seconds, Zilva, please, before the red light for the next uh, speaker. And a few words of celebration for Honora, please. Zilva, will you be able to play the videos? Oh, you're a hero. A okay, hero. I can try. Wait. No, don't don't do as yet because Tamara is next. But, oh, okay. Uh, 
while uh, maybe during the silence after Tamara, you can practice it. Tamari, you're next. Okay. Thank you. Life is meant to be a celebration. I love all situations where creativity is celebrated. At our Toastmasters Zoom meetings, we enhance people from different countries and continents. Our mother tongues and cultural backgrounds are different, but as friendly teams of like-minded people, we recognize, accept, and celebrate those differences. It's a tradition in Schilling speakers to have Irish night, Ukrainian, French, or Nigerian night every year. We try to encourage members from different countries to engage other members in celebrating traditions of their countries. That helps strengthen artistic connections and acquire new friends. What a joy it was for me this summer to meet Gisela Bynes in person for the first time when I happened to travel in Belgium where she lives. I introduced her to my granddaughters. We went sightseeing together and shared unforgettable moments looking together at a famous painting a masterpiece hanging in one of the cathedrals of Hent. Toastmasters meetings enrich everyone spiritually and give the feeling of belonging. At present, I am a member of two Toastmasters clubs. When I joined the first one a little more than a year ago, the club president told me, now your life will change forever. And it did. After working at school for more than 30 years in Ukraine and 12 years in America, I am now retired, but I am full of energy and creative ideas. Being a Toastmaster fills my life with special purpose. I enjoy preparing and delivering speeches. Working in the garden or riding my bicycle, making salads or swimming in my cozy private pool, in the back of my mind, I keep thinking, what ideas I'd like to share with my fellow Toastmasters and in what form, with what words. To work with words is so exciting and inspiring. The words carry vibrations and energies which influence not only us, but the whole universe. I like it that in Toastmaster clubs, the time given for speech delivery is limited. It means you can't afford shallow, unnecessary phrases. Every sentence should be exact, meaningful, and penetrating to the heart and mind of the listeners. I enjoy taking different roles <clears throat> because they require different skills and present a sweet challenge every time. I am always happy to receive invitations to be a guest in other clubs, to meet new people or to help out. I regard such invitations as a special spiritual treat. In Toastmasters clubs, we learn to work as a team, to appreciate each other's contributions and to celebrate each other's success. Let me conclude with a beautiful quote, which I find very appropriate to our theme today. Celebration is a kind of food we all need in our lives. And each individual brings a special recipe or offering. 
so that together we will make a great feast. Celebration is a human need that we must not and cannot deny. It is richer and fuller when many work together and then celebrate together. Isn't that exactly what we are doing now? Back to you, Mr. Tosmast. Oh, magnificent. You've whetted my appetite, <laughs> Tamara. You must put the source of that quotation in the chat, wherever it came from, even if it came from yourself. Thank you so very, very much. And we'll now have a minute. I will uh, give show the red light after one minute. And Zilva, will you uh, practice showing uh, a video for us, please? I will uh, do the one minute. Okay. Let me try to open the video. I have tried nothing. I'm hopeless at this. <laughs> All right. You can experiment. And if it doesn't work, you can keep on experimenting during the next uh, time as well. So I'll uh, look after the time. And the next person to speak, by the way, after the videos will be um, Valentine. Valentine, you will be next after the videos. We have videos from some people who will surprise you. Okay, uh, which one you would like to hear first, Paul? Because we have five videos. The easiest one, if Annie's came to you first, that would be great. Okay, so let's... Let's hear something from Annie. Annie is the past club president of One Country, One World, also our chartered member from Canada. Right. Let me know if it's audible. Good morning, fellow friends at One Country, One World. Long time no see. It's been a while. Perfect. Thank you all for inviting me to send this message and reconnect with all of you. Are you celebrating something today? I'm sure you are. Because in this club, Every meeting is worth celebrating. In today's world, with all its chaos and uncertainties, I find myself reflecting on the good old days a lot. But instead of longing for the past, I feel even more grateful for the present. Grateful for everything we have, for every moment we get to experience. That gratitude has made me want to celebrate the little things in life every day whenever I can. Toastmaster has been an incredible part of that mindset. It has given me the courage to express myself, the confidence to grow, and most importantly, the friendships and guidance that have shaped me a better person. All the wonderful influences from my other Toastmasters, like you, are worth celebrating. Sometimes it is not about what we are celebrating, but whether we allow ourselves to embrace the joy of celebration. Life will always throw challenges our way, but choosing to celebrate the small wins, the connections, and even just the chance to be here together makes life richer. So my wish for each of you is this, love the life you are living, cherish the moments you are experiencing, and find reasons to celebrate every day. So thank you all, and I hope to see you again soon. Until then, keep celebrating. Oh, fantastic. Not only is that uh, the second president of our club, but that is the one of the two sponsors of the club. Isn't that fabulous? She taught me how to sponsor a club. I hadn't a clue before Annie took me by the hand. Uh, Zilva, will you play one more, please? Okay. Your choice, dealer's choice. 
Okay. Let's hear something from Roger. He's the third place or champion of public speaking in 2021. Perfect. Roger Caesar. Hello, members of One Country, One World. Audible? I'm Roger Caesar. I can't see it. 2021 third place winner at the World Championship of Public Speaking. Sorry, Paul. Today, when we celebrate 100 years of Toastmasters. Oh, okay. Let me try to share it once again, okay? Okay. Hello, members of One Country, Perfect. One World. I'm Roger Caesar, the 2021 third place winner at the World Championship of Public Speaking. Today, when we celebrate 100 years of Toastmasters, I can't help but reflect on my journey as a Toastmaster. Coming in through those doors in 2011, the one thing that I remember most was how welcomed I felt by the members of my club. That feeling of euphoria to understand that, hey, maybe this is the place I belong. And throughout the years, those same members have helped me to develop my skills and have allowed me to learn and grow in this beautiful organization. I'm sure that there are people that you have looked upon who have been a part of your journey and have allowed you to be where you are today. I want you to think about those people. Because to me, if I think about one thing that I enjoy more than anything else, it's the camaraderie that I had with many members from around here and around the world. Today, as we celebrate in Canada Thanksgiving weekend, it's a time to reflect on the blessings that we have from family to friends and everything in between. But I'm going to extend that to even my Toastmasters family because I am blessed to have met so many of you along the way. And of course, even in, from in person to around the world, world virtually, it has been a joy. And I will always treasure those memories with each person that I have met in my journey. So to 100 years of Toastmasters International, I say congratulations, not only to the organization, but to its members for being there to help people listen, learn, and love the art of public speaking and leadership. I was blessed to receive this in 2021. Oh my God. And I'm hoping that there will be many others that will feel blessed to have learned, grown, and enjoy what Toastmasters is all about. Cheers to 100 years and many more. Wow. Isn't that magnificent? It is. It is. Zilva, we'll have one more. Please. All right. Okay. We do have... Stephen, the club growth director from District 71, where Paul belongs to. Hello, members of One Country, One World. I'm Steve Campion, club growth director of District 71. And the wonderful Paul O'Mahony said that today you are running a meeting, an event all about celebration. He invited me to come along and unfortunately I can't be there, but suggested I send a video instead. I've learned in life that when Paul suggests something, it's generally a good idea to go along with it. He asked me for what I would like to celebrate. And one of the things I want to celebrate about Toastmasters International is the word international. It was remarkable to me just the diversity of people, the richness of experience that we all gain by being members of Toastmasters and meeting other Toastmasters from around the world. I've had the privilege years ago when I used to travel in my work of being able to go to club meetings in other countries, see other cultures and experience the joy of Toastmasters there. Even more locally in my home club, I have the pleasure of spending time with members, with other people from different countries, different cultures, different languages, and that, I believe, enriches all of our lives. One Country, One World is such a wonderful idea because it really builds on this, and I would 
wish I could be there with you, but I wanted to send this short video to celebrate and to say this is one of the things that I think is so wonderful about Toastmasters and about our time together. Thank you. Oh, fabulous. Fabulous. I don't mind saying I look forward to the day when he is District 71 director. There we are. Now, our next uh, speaker to celebrate, Valentine. Valentine, are you are you uh, ready to uh, to celebrate? I Oh, you're, 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 can't be heard yet. You still can't be heard. No, no. I tell you what, Valentine, while you're sorting that out, I'm going to ask Delon if he is ready by any chance. I'm looking here to see if Delon Fraser is still, uh, is free to speak. Delon, you are on mute and celebrate, please. Thank you. Thank you so much, Paul, for this wonderful opportunity. Toastmasters, celebration is all about reflection. Reflection on a wonderful journey Reflection on the time well spent from the time you would have joined the Toastmasters Club to the time you are now as a confident speaker. I've been a Toastmaster for over 15 years and my journey is still continuing. Many times I've had the opportunity to celebrate of the small, those very small achievements. One, becoming an ACG. And of course, I, I recognize that some Toastmasters remember that from the previous education program. And going through each and every single speech that hone different skills. Today, I am so happy to have joined this Toastmasters Club. And the reason being is that at any single function that I'm in, there's always someone to recognize, oh, there's Toastmaster Delon. Let him do a speech for us this evening. Toastmasters, that is something you cannot escape. No matter where you are in a crowd, once there's a Toastmaster in the room, then they will be expecting you to speak. So it's a marvelous opportunity to be part of something great, 100 years and growing. Every single time you're about to take a speech, you remember that very first speech, the icebreaker. Who are you? And today, Toastmasters, I tell you, I am still growing. There's never a dull moment in the life of Delon Fraser. And every single day, it, it's meant to celebrate. Toastmasters also give you this wonderful opportunity for us to join together to help each other hone our speaking skills. Skills, ladies and gentlemen, that you and I both know something that we can't ever replace. There's always an opportunity for a speaker. There's always an opportunity to grow. There's always an opportunity to help evaluate someone. And there's always the opportunity to see that person dream as an excellent orator realized. Toastmasters, as we celebrate 100 years and growing, I would like for us all to do three things. One, never forget that passion. The passion that we've had from the very first day that we've joined our very first meeting. And two, never forget that the way your mentee looked or that person that you would have helped groom into becoming an excellent orator looked when they would have completed their very first project and would have received that evaluation and those wonderful words that you have completed this project. It is time to move forward. 
And thirdly, for those persons who have not yet achieved Distinguished Toastmaster, please, it's a wonderful feeling. And to those of you who have achieved it, then hey, never forget that feeling. Why? Because after you become DTM, it is time for you to go and become a DTM again because there's always more projects. There are always many more speeches for us to learn and for us to grow. Toastmasters is continuous. It's livable. It's breathable. Every single day you get the opportunity, celebrate it. Because, hey, this is what we are. Toastmasters, where leaders are made. Toastmaster of the meeting. Oh, Jalon, fantastic. You are indeed a distinguished Toastmaster. Thank you so very, very much. I was going to ask if by any chance Margaret would be ready to uh, give us a few words of celebration. And uh, so if you are ready to give us a few words, Margaret, that would be terrific. Mr. Toastmaster, I am ready. Well, you're on. I have no words to say. I have no expectations of anybody but me. Toastmasters, I went to Toastmasters about 10, 15 years ago. Can't remember when. I joined uh, Solent Speakers in Fairham, just up the road. And then I joined Spinnaker Speakers, not for long. And then I joined Shilling Speakers, which I am still a member. And it's only just taken me that long until a couple of weeks ago to actually complete level one. What's all that about, as they say? So I was celebrating with the my mentor, uh, Antonia, that I've done it, I've completed it. But how long did it take me? It took me forever. But I just couldn't get the oomph to do it. And because I have dyslexia, which was only diagnosed less than eight years ago, it took me a while to do those things that you have to do. I'm very good at speaking, but I'm not good at writing or reading, but I do get along. I can do things as I wish. I am more a creative person. In fact, that I do photography, I do craft. That is my way of dealing with my dyslexia. And if I need to do Toastmasters, I can do Toastmasters. Like today, I'm sat at home, I'm chilling, and Paul said, would you like to come along? which I do. And also, I have my little dog, Jack, and he keeps me going too. But Toastmasters is like your next door neighbour. They are just around the corner. Also, is that you can talk to anybody you want to and message them whenever you want to. Thank you, Mr Toastmaster. Oh, superb. Oh, superb. And you know what? I just love the fact that already in the chat, you have supporters who have a similar, not identical, I'm sure, um, experience. Wonderful. Now, I forgot to give you time to give Delon a few words, please. So will you please celebrate Delon and Margaret while I check out with uh, one minute will be enough there, uh, uh, Zilva, for, for them to do that. And uh, I want to ask Valentine if he's ready. And then I want to ask Sonia Monrose if she might be ready. Excellent. Uh, Valentine, I'll give you the starting, the starting gate. Can you speak? Uh, can you hear me, Paul? Perfect now. Perfect. I, wait till you see the red light. Uh, come again, Paul? No, I'll I'll tell you when to start. All right, all right. Thank you. So, sorry, my sound decided to go on holiday when I was about Off to start. You go. 
Off you go. Celebrate, my friend. Celebrate. <laughs> I am standing right in front of this edifice of capitalism, Barclays Bank. I have just finished a hard days at work as a graduate trainee in corporate banking. And as I stand outside, I feel a heaviness, a sadness, and a sorrowfulness on my heart. I had just lost a 100,000 US dollar pitch in corporate banking. The corporate leadership manager had entrusted is one of his most promising trainees to deliver this pitch. And I had fumbled at the most critical, the most important time. But as I stand outside this building, rain pouring through, down, raining downpour, and I'm thinking to myself, what next? I start walking lackadaisically along the main road. And as I was just passing by this historically significant archeological structure, I hear a sound and the rowdy applause coming from that building. I decided to peep in and see what was happening. And I saw to my amazement, this lady speaking, Everyone captivated. And I tried to listen to what she was talking about. She was talking about the rose that grew from the concrete, how she has defied nature and stood above adversity. And as I listened, she spoke to my heart. Fellow Toastmasters, that was my first Toastmasters meeting in South Africa. And as I joined this meeting and listened to the different speakers captivated by the different proceedings, I realized in my heart of hearts, this is where I belonged. Over the years, Toastmasters has become a breath of fresh air. I have learned so many things in this marvelous organization. I have learned three critical skills, three critical skill sets, confidence, building a competitive edge, and of course, just like one country, one world, connections. And in this era that we live in, what the great speaker Les Brown says, the era of the triple C's, accelerated change, overwhelming complexity and tremendous competition. We need organizations like Toastmasters to remind us that out of adversity can come great and marvelous things. I have become part and parcel of this organization and Toastmasters has become part of my blood. I always joke with my friends and say, if you cut my hand, blood will not come out, but Toastmasters will flow out. That's how much this organization has become part and parcel of my life. I don't know about you, but in a time of critical need, a time of global fear, a time of devastation and destruction, the time of 2020 when COVID broke out and in Africa, we were like reeds and water shaking out of fear. What's going to happen when COVID hits Southern Africa? I found solace in Toastmasters. I met people, for instance, like Paul, people like Nick from Manchester, Toastmasters Club. I met many other people and that reminded me of the uniqueness of this organization, of the humanness in this organization and its ability to bring people together under the ethos of the values displayed on my background, integrity, respect, service, and excellence. This is my story. 
and I'm sticking to it. Back to you, Paul. Oh, Valentine, you've just reminded me why I've never forgotten the first time I ever heard your voice. That's another story, but I have not forgotten. Wonderful, wonderful. Let me now uh, ask Wendy Herrera, if Wendy, if you have any ability to say anything, like to say where you are and one thing about yourself, that's all, um, unmute yourself. If you, for any reason, if that isn't uh, possible for you to do, not to worry at all. It's just fabulous to have you here uh, with us again. Wendy, hello, hello. Hello, everybody. Uh, Wendy Herrera from Colombia. Actually, I'm living in Europe this year. I'm in Lisbon. I'm in the Asian market today. I'm enjoying different cuisine. And what I could say is that I'm really grateful uh, having in Toastmasters around two, 10 years already, different clubs. My experience started in Australia, so I guess it has been always international. And I, I can see every time, every stride, how it can really help in my career, in my connections, in my relations. Even if now in this time of my life, it has been difficult to be active in the clubs, uh, I guess that's something that even you just apply in everything that you do, in the presentations, when you have to do a presentation or like discussion, negotiations, interviews. So it's always useful and really grateful to to meet those masters and to be part of this family since 10 years ago. I'm from one country, one world, and my international friends. Thank you, Paul. Thanks for the invitation. No, Wendy, it's just a joy for tired eyes to see you again. Thank you so very, very much. Uh, a minute now for you to send celebratory comments to Wendy. And I'm going to ask Nick Lacani if he would be ready to be next. Uh, thank you, Nick. And I know it's patience, a huge patience. I'm going to see if Sonia will be after that and Jorge after that. Colombia, great. We need members from Brazil, Argentina, Peru. I'm not sure uh, whether we can get someone from the Falklands as well, but uh, that was a joke. Um, there once was a club in Antarctica, by the way, just to let you all know. Is that a limerick? You no, know, actually, that's a good point. If you want to know, if you want to know about the club in Antarctica, just uh, go to the Toastmaster magazine and look at the archive put in Antarctica and you will see an interesting article from about 1998. Right, I'm now going to call on Nick Lacani. Nick, the floor is yours and Zilva, when Nick is finished, we'll have the three videos which we haven't shown yet. Nick, over to you to celebrate. Thank you very much, Paul. Hi, everybody. Let's celebrate. Well, everybody's taken all my good, good words, haven't they? Everybody said everything that I wanted to say. Okay, let's, let's think of something else to say. We've all gained a lot from Toastmasters, haven't we? So uh, what I'm going to do is uh, I want to, to type something into the chat. I would describe myself as uh, in three, way, three words with clarity, connection, and community. What three words would you use after being through Toastmasters or throughout your life? What three wor words would you use to describe yourself today? And that's important because I want to talk about this. Okay, so just take, take a, a brief second. The first three words that come into your mind, just keep it clean. 
right? Now, in the meantime, I want to also, I want you to think about uh, the things that I'm going to actually say to you today. And I'm going to tell you just three simple things. We learn this in Toastmasters, don't we? The first one is about listening. The second one is about leadership. And the third one is going to be about a big special surprise that I'm not going to tell you until we get there. So you better pay attention. I can see lots of things coming in. Um, passion, growth, friendship, supporter, challenger, celebrates, well done. Uh, so yes, lots of good things coming on there. Ta take a look at those. Those are important. Now, one, uh, one thing I want to talk about in terms of listening. When I joined Toastmasters, I thought I was an okay speaker. And what I learned was I didn't listen well. And that's something I've rectified and I have to work on every day. Hands up who works on the listening. Hands up who works on the listening. Yeah, there's a few hands going up on there. All right. So obviously, if you didn't hear that, you were going to put your hand up, were you? So you get the idea that the, uh, being in Toastmasters um, has helped a lot of us become better listeners. And that's important. And it helps with the thought processes as well. It helps us to calm our nerves. It helps us to be calm and to think about what we're going to say. Next thing I want to talk about is just being a leader, having a vision, and having the confidence to be able to persuade people to go with you. Maybe run a project, maybe have a dream and get people along with you. I've got people in the room here who I've worked with in projects and done different things with. Fabulous to see you all today. And what we did was we got over the finish line together. I, I put that down to Toastmasters, helped me do that. What has Toastmasters helped you in terms of vision or in terms of leadership? Think about that. Just, just take a think about that. Thirdly, this is the big surprise I'm going to spring on you. Are you ready, right? Are you ready? Are you ready for the big surprise? It makes you a better speaker. Shh, don't tell anybody. It makes you a better speaker. I thought the leadership element was the be all and end all because I went through that during the pandemic in 2020. I came to the fore. I went and achieved so many things. And yet I still had more to learn. I, what I learned was that it's now to apply Toastmasters, all of it, especially the speaking, because you're going to be telling people, you're going to be uh, inspiring people, you're going to be training people, you're going to be running masterclasses and speaking in, in front of audiences of hundreds and thousands. The speaking element, you should practice, not just inside Toastmasters. I got the benefit when I went outside. Imagine how comfortable we feel in, in our club, in this meeting. We feel comfortable. We know people from all over the world, or even we don't know them. We know them as Toastmasters, and we're comfortable, aren't we? We're in our comfort zone. Push yourself outside the comfort zone. Go to places where they're not Toastmasters, and talk about your passion. Talk about your superpower, whatever that is. My superpower is to connect with people. What's yours? Write it down. Write it down. And I want to see, I want to see in the chat. I want to see what your superpower is. And then I want you to take that and figure out not only how to tell fellow Toastmasters about that superpower or to be able to use that superpower to benefit not just yourself, but others as well. I want you to go to non-Toastmaster events. I want you to go and spread the word. Not about Toastmasters per se. It's about your superpower, about you. And the fact that you are bringing a message, people will be interested to find out more about you. Then you can peel back the onion slowly and explain well. My dad taught me to speak, my mom taught me to speak, my family, whoever. And I, what I managed was, I managed to be a better listener, leader, and speaker in Toastmasters. I want you to take that, talk about your superpower, and take it on board. 
Back to you, Paul. Oh, terrific, Nick. Terrific. You can put your call to action in the uh, in the chat if you like. By the way, we'll have a minute silence now for Nick. And after the silence, we're going to change the rhythm and the energy because I'm going to give the remaining speakers who haven't had a chance to speak one minute each. And after the one minute, they're going to be muted. So you better say something good at the very beginning. Right, so it'll be muting time. And the people who haven't yet spoken know who they are. And I want to welcome Rosalind Khan all the way from California. Rosalind, I'll also give you one minute to celebrate. And I, I'll call you, it'd be a bit like table topics. I'm going to call people one minute. Will you do the muting, uh, Zilva? We won't bother with the red light. We'll just, uh, this is advanced stuff, isn't it? Okay, Jorge, you're next. Uh, no, sorry, you're not next. Where is Sonia Monroe? Sonia Monroe, you're next, please, if you can. I'm right here, Paul, thank you. I must say Toastmasters has been good to me. I joined Toastmasters when I really needed it, so I was in management at work and I had difficulty sharing my ideas so much. So I used to write them down for my colleagues and ask them to speak on my behalf. And if there was a rebuttal, I continued writing and allowed them to speak for me. Joining Toastmasters wasn't very easy. I went to the first meeting and felt, yeah, man, that's really easy, I can do it. But when I had to start presenting my speeches, I used to pray that there was going to be heavy rains and that the meetings would be canceled. Eventually, I got comfortable, and now I look forward to every Toastmasters meeting, and I even join other clubs' meetings and make my presentation, and I have moved on to earning two Distinguished Toastmaster Awards. For me, Toastmasters is a lot about friendship. I love the conventions. I have attended more than 12 of my district conventions and a few of international, and it's about the friendship. So you go back and you connect or reconnect with the persons you had met before, and now I do a lot of liming when I go to Toastmasters meetings. We go to the disco, we go sightseeing, and I take in the, the, the contest. But other than that, it's friendship, it's the food, it's the fun, and it's the love that we share together. Over to you, Paul. Oh, my goodness. That is a masterly 59 seconds. Absolutely brilliant. Absolutely stunning. Okay, the next person is, for our one minute challenge is the man from Mexico. The man from Mexico, Jorge. I celebrate those masters because you always get challenges. I need to speak in one minute, so I'm gonna be very fast. I celebrate the person who invited me to those masters because those masters changed my life. I celebrate every evaluator around the world because evaluators always encourage you to continue to develop your speaking skills and give you great advice. I celebrate being an area director. I wanted to quit when I was like two or three days being area director, but there's always help around and that help, I celebrate it. There's always help in those masters. The, the pandemic, was a real challenge to everyone. I, I, I was going crazy being inside my house, but then I knew what to do. I started visiting clubs around the world and clubs around the world are great. They actually encourage you to join them and people are really great. I have met a lot of people that I, I, I met online first. I still need to meet a lot of you guys. So that's something that I will celebrate in the future. Now, my wife noticed that and she said, Toastmasters no more. But because I have persuasive skills, I was able to convince her to let me be with you guys. I have a mystical story, but I'm going to stop now because I see the red light. That will be for the future. 
Fantastic, Jorge, brilliant. The next person I want is, uh, please, are we going to hear, is uh, Rosemary Sweeney, please. Rosemary Sweeney, your uh, 60 seconds starts now, please. I'm right here. I celebrate Toastmasters and the Toastmasters around the world because I'm a very talkative person with friends. However, when it came to going up front and speaking alone, I would clam up. One day I heard about Toastmasters in my country and I went to that first meeting and no one had to tell me this is where I belong. And from that day, I am a Toastmaster that's 10 years ago. The highlight of my Toastmaster was being a Toastmaster of the day at my workplace scholarship event. And after the event, the media personnel came and said, wow, you were extremely good. And I immediately responded, thanks to Toastmaster, because being that chairperson of the meeting was just like being Toastmaster of the day. And I just prepared and found out everything about that scholarship program, what my company did. And that's how I ran it, including the audience in it. So the audience felt like they were part of that thing. Instead of just sitting there and listening to people, they were included. I asked them to stand, I asked them to shake around because the meeting was going for about two and a half hours. And can you imagine you sitting and just not being part of the meeting? I had them experience that. And from that day, I was the chairperson of the scholarship. Rosemary, program. you're fantastic. Rosemary, yep. brilliant. Thank you so, so very much. I'm now going to ask Matty Bean. Will he take 60 seconds? Matty, will you give us 60 seconds, please, in celebration of Toastmasters? Hello, hello, fellow Toastmasters. I, I joined Toastmasters in 2010. I joined when I was in a box, and the box had delayed souls. Thanks to Toastmasters, they opened the lid of that box. And when I got out, I pushed my arms out in front of me and pushed back the boundaries. It's now time that I give something back to Toastmasters to help somebody else open up their box and so for them to push back their boundaries. Fellow Toastmasters, in conclusion, I wish to wish Toastmasters a very happy 100th birthday and all the best for the coming 100 years. Thank you very much. Oh. Terrific, Matty. Absolute fabulous. Uh, Rauda, you're next, please. Can we have your 60 seconds, please, in celebration? Well, um, it was indeed a very great meeting and celebration, Paul, in all meanings. Getting all the people from many places in the world to come and celebrate, that's itself a celebration. Uh, at first, I want to thank you really for inviting me today. Although it was a very short notice, I, I came to know like one hour before this meeting. I am in my kind of a startup journey in Toastmasters. I just delivered my icebreaker speech last week, but I'm so looking forward. I'm so looking forward to learn from everyone and to keep in touch and to connect. I learned a lot today and really it's a celebration. Thank you so much for everyone for sharing your experiences and let's celebrate. Thank you. Oh, that is the best of all. You came in under the time. Brilliant. Arauda, thank you so much. Um, Gita, Gita, will you give us 60 seconds, please? Oh, you have to unmute. <laughs> unmute. <laughs> I'm really grateful to Toastmasters for coming into my life when um, when COVID was around because um, I was shielding mum and um, yeah caring for mum and it was just beautiful to develop friendships with everybody and um, get to learn about people's different cultures and 
make friends and just you sort of feel love and, and light and brightened, you know, brightness in your day because because of that. So I'm just so grateful to you all and um, you're all wonderful and uh, look forward to seeing you again sometime. Thanks, everybody, for all your friendship and love. Thank you. Oh, Gita, fantastic. You are welcome at every single club that every person here is a member of. And I imagine they'll all be sending you private messages in the chat, inviting you to come. Fabulous, lovely. Um, we're now, Rosalind Khan, you're going to have a, a minute and then I am going to give Stephen a one minute evaluation. Do you remember he gave us a terrific storytelling and get your pen out and write speech. I'm going to give you 60 seconds, uh, Stephen, after that. And then I'm going to give you a much longer detailed evaluation in the chat, in uh, WhatsApp later. Okay, uh, there you go now. Uh, Rosalind, you have 60 seconds. 60 seconds, ready, set, go. Well, my journey began when I graduated oh. college. I think it was in 1985. And I came home and my father said, you know, the most important thing that you need to do is join this organization called Toastmasters. And at the, at the time, they were all mostly older than I was. I was kind of the young kid in the group. But it went and it expanded and it grew. It seemed as though every place I moved to, it was a place where Toastmasters became my friends. It was like, move, okay. You unpack your bags, you call the local Toastmasters and away you go. Later on in my career, I was looking to become a professional speaker and a friend of mine said, you should go to Toastmasters and you should have them help you with your speeches. It's a great training ground. And so it was one of my first speeches. I went to Toastmasters and they were so helpful in helping me. And it's the friends I've met in Toastmasters throughout the years that, you know, just keeps life surreal and going to the international convention and seeing people I'd only seen online. It just gets better and better every day. You know, when life gets tough and life gets hard, you can always go online to a Toastmaster meeting and it makes you have a different perspective and brighten up your day and see it in a different way. And I'm so glad that when I got up this morning, I was able to meet my goal and objective and here I am and to be under time. Gosh, that's the icing on the cake. So thank you so much to Toastmasters for all the things you've done to help me out. Gratitude. That is a terrific use of the time. Well done, Rosalind. Now, Zilva, I'm going to give you uh, 60 seconds and I'll mute you if you go over 60 seconds and I'm not going to show you any light. Zilva, you. Well, talking about Toastmasters, I joined Toastmasters back in 2008. So it's been a wonderful 16, 17 years of journey with Toastmasters. I'm from Indonesia and I joined so many clubs meeting. I serve in club to district level. I was the district 87 director. I think one memorable thing when I served as a Toastmasters leader and member is that when my district 87 cover Indonesia, Brunei Darussalam, and East Malaysia with 1,500 members. We got the distinguished district top eight in the world because at that time it was during the pandemic and it was, it was extremely hard for us. But then I realized in those masses, it's not only about we lead a team, but it's more like we work together. And I feel like it is not about you becoming the district director, the area director, division director, or whatever. But it is more about how to serve. Because by taking a leadership role, it's actually you are learning and serving the other members. So when you're stepping to the higher level in Toastmasters, I believe that your surf surface of level is going to be higher. So don't ask for any respect or got entertained when you're serving in the higher level because the higher you take role in those masses meaning the higher service that you need to give to the members that to be all thank you oh wonderful wonderful one of the things about this club uh, by the way is that when this club started we must have had about 20 district directors five international directors no i exaggerate a little bit but uh, last year's uh, uh, <clears throat> international president, Morag Matheson, I'll just mention her, just to let you all know. 
So this is the kind of club you can all join. Remember, remember, we are looking to expand in your country. Now, I have uh, going to give uh, Stephen a one minute evaluation. Walt Whitman wrote, I celebrate myself. I celebrate myself, Walt Whitman wrote, the greatest of the American poets. Stephen, I trust you are celebrating yourself. I want you to say I celebrate myself after that phenomenal piece of message that you gave us. You see, you gave us a highly relevant message. The way you delivered it, that's your business. But you gave us the message Communicate your story. Now, lots of people tell you to communicate your story and it's, you know, urging you to do things. You demonstrated how to communicate a story in a way that held the audience's attention. We wanted to know if you died that day. You assured us you didn't die that day and that you're not the twin of the real Stephen. <laughs> But fabulous stuff, I have to say. A whole load of brilliant speaking techniques, your use of pause, your use of uh, objects, the thing you put on your head, um, all sorts of things, which I will give you separately and privately, the same way as you would in a club if you were going to the bar afterwards and an evaluator was going to give you more detail. But above all, I want to say that you gave us an example, an example of what we could get if we read your book. Back to you. Brilliant. Thank you, Stephen. My friends, and I'm not just talking to those of you who are here. I'm talking to one world, one country, one world. Toastmasters International. And today I, I appoint you all as ambassadors, ambassadors of one country, one world. Go forth and multiply the messages. Go forth and, well, if it'll be going downhill, convert people to the idea of one country, one world. It's a doddle. You won't find it hard, but you should be able to enjoy it in the process. All of you who would like to join this club, all of you who want to join each other's clubs, you know what to do. It's been a joy, a privilege, an honor for me as this year's president uh, of this club to uh, have been able to listen to you, to have been able to speak to the wider world, to have been able to speak to our international president and to every single one of your district directors, your international directors and your regional advisors who really ought to get a copy of this. This has been superb. You have been phenomenal. I celebrate you all. Let us all unmute and give one gigantic cheer for ourselves and for Toastmasters International. Hey. Thank you, Paul. <laughs> Take care, everyone. Okay, the meeting is now adjourned, so there can be informal chat from anybody who would like to. Paul will stop the recording. But uh, 